Hey guys, Gaming Smoke here, back again for another Marvel Battle Lines video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. I wanted to talk about the Marvel Battle Lines wiki I've actually been working on. It still is a work in progress. As you can see, the homepage is pretty bare. There's like nothing here. What I have been focusing on is actually adding all the cards in the game to the wiki. Let's have a quick look. So here we have all the cards in the game. And let's have a quick look at a card just to show you what the layout looks like. Let's check out Thanos Infinity Gauntlet. So as you can see, I've written down the biography of the card, card description, so what their special ability is if they have one, their card quote, and also their stats. So I was just told actually on Reddit earlier today that epic cards only go up to level three currently. Rare cards go up to level four, but uncommon and common cards go up to level five. But as you can see, I filled out all the information for all of the levels. It is pretty easy to work out what their next uh, attack stat will be at the next level because it will generally increases by 10% at a time. Also got the availability, how you can actually get the card and also references and external links. So a link to the official Battle Lines website as well as the Reddit. Also, we have the card image, how it looks like when it's shown on the game. You can see the full size image here. Quite nice uh, resolution. And also, if you click this section here, full illustration, you can see the full card without the actual card border. So again, quite nice. Just below that, we have the more details about the card. So their name or real name, where they're based and their powers, card rarity and card cost. We also have some tags here at the bottom. You can see the tags. So let's have a look at card cost four, and let's see what comes up. So we have Hulk, Maestro and Magus here. So let's check out Maestro. So same thing, biography, card description, attack stats, HP stat, special ability stats, and also how you can get the card just below there. And also any other extra information such as a real name, base of operations, and also their powers are once again, Full illustration so I've actually done that for all the cards in the game as I said we have the character cards and action cards separated here so action cards again same format same layout we can actually change the view actually no we can't <laughs> um, let's have a quick look let's check out Hydra's EMP explosive so you can see it's a bit different to character cards as there's no biography and there's no card quote we also can click on here to show the content. So biography, card description, quickly jump to a section. Okay, we have this special ability by level. As you can see, the damage increases at every level and also upgrade costs. There are some costs I'm not sure of as I don't have any cards at uh, level four, which are rare, and I don't have any level three epic cards. But I do have a number of rare cards at level five. One of them being, where is it? Uh, not rare cards, sorry, uncommon, getting confused. So uncommon card, and he is right here. So I have Captain America at level five. As you can see, it costs 10,000 gold to level him up on the last level to level five. Attack and HP stat of 730. So this is a pretty good card to get. You can actually farm him from special ops, uh, stage three, chapter three hard, and you can get one copy at a time. My other card I like to uh, farm up and promote quite a lot is, let's just check it out, it's another uncommon card. And he is, where is he? Right down here. So Rocket Raccoon, same thing. If you wanna check out how you can get M availability. So Special Ops, uh, Chapter Two, Stage Four hard, and you can get one copy. The drop rate isn't too bad with that. And the him, like Captain America, is something I would definitely recommend. Another card you can potentially get. Let's have a quick look. An action card. Another card you can potentially farm up. Chain Lightning. You can get Chain Lightning from uh, Chapter 3, Stage 4 hard, and you can get one copy. This is a pretty good card you can use to take up multiple enemies at, at, enemies at a time. And again, the more you level it up, the more damage it's actually going to do each time. Okay, so as you can see, the wiki is pretty lacking in terms of other content apart from card details so that is where it will be very good if people could uh, jump in and help out I know I've posted a few comments on reddit asking people if they're happy to uh, jump in and maybe add some content because unfortunately this is uh, quite a tall task to ask for just one person <laughs> but hey that's why it's taken me a little while because I think I started this about two months ago and I've only really just finished it just, just this weekend 
so it did take me a good while for sure but um, yeah I think it's definitely a good resource for all of the uh, players of the game to have everything in one place and it makes it easy so you know where to farm cards um, oh, actually yeah speaking about farming cards let's have a quick look definitely can't farm any epic cards um, let's do rare card and let's check out Adam Warlock should be here yep here we are so his tag can you see right here at the top also it's at the bottom farmable so if we click on that we should be able to see every single card that you can actually farm in the game whether it's from special ops um let's have a quick look at venom so again availability okay it's not here <laughs> i didn't write it for that one so it is still a work in progress there are some things i may have missed or i'm yet to add I think Yaka Arrow should be down here. Yep, Yaka Arrow, Chapter 7, Stage 10 hard. You can get one copy of that. So you may be trying a little while trying to get the Yaka Arrows because I was taking forever and a day just to get the um, Scorpion. Where is he? S, uh, Scorpion. Here he is. So this guy took me forever and a day to get and I actually got him from one of the card packs and not actually from the stage you can farm him from which is chapter 3 stage 6 hard and you can get one copy. Also one other thing to note I've also made a note here about special abilities if the character's special ability doesn't change per level I've actually made a note about that here. So another card I can show you with the same information this guy here absorbing man same thing so after summoning change own HP to that of a nearby character with the highest HP. So I've written here character special ability does not change based on levels gained. He is actually a lot more farmable than some of the other cards. He's, you can get him from quite a number of stages as well as the basic card pack, advanced card pack, premium card pack. So there you have it. This is a Marvel Battle Lines wiki. Once again, if you feel free to uh, or if you want to help out, feel free to uh, sign up create some pages, add some content, got sections here for campaign mode tutorials, event portal tutorials, challenge mode arena, hopefully some team builds etc etc. So if you do want to help out feel free to message me on YouTube by leaving a comment below. You can actually message me on Discord, link to the Discord is in the chat or if you saw my post on Reddit feel free to message me on there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and hopefully there'll be more content on this very soon. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.